talking about css variables so what are css variables uh, how we can implement it in our files and what is the use of css variables so basically css variables are a um, kind of uh, place holders which helps you to store certain values of properties that we use in css like background color text color font sizes in fact the fa- uh, font family what type of font face we want to use everything can be stored in our CSS variables. In fact, the measurements of uh, margins and paddings can be also stored in CSS variables. So, why we use it? So, uh, CSS variables helps you to uh, store your uh, every uh, set of uh, values in a very systematic order, and so uh, you can just uh, use the value by uh, giving the CSS variable name. each time you want that value to be in your web page and so it makes your task very easy to uh, simply modify the value uh, any time you want and basically its uh, main purpose you will learn when we have theme switcher like the dark theme and the light theme switchers then we generally take help of css variables So let's begin and let's see how we can implement it in our CSS files. So first we will be creating a boilerplate code in our HTML and let us give this a title of CSS variables. Okay, V R I A B L E S variables and uh, let us link our CSS file with the help of link tag with our HTML and now in body. Uh, let us create one header and this ha- header will be having one nav and this nav will be having one h1 which will be the logo of our uh, web page and then we will be having some links and these will be links of uh, home uh, then a b o u g about and let's have one more which will be contact so that's it for header now we will be having one session which will be having one paragraph which will be saying this is okay uh, this is a section portion and then we can have one footer and uh, let's uh, have here the same thing one paragraph which will be this is a footer so that's it for now in our html file and now let us open this with live server so this was the file that we have uh, created till now and let us give these uh, things some styling so, so uh, let me select the nav and this will be having a display of flex with uh, justify content space between and then we will be having an align items of center and to uh, have these all thing in work let us add a width of 90% and let us ha- have a min height of 10 vh and after this uh, let us see it in our page so yeah everything is one in one line but we need to bring this also in one line so that we can bring using nav ul and give this also a display of uh, flex and then the same thing justify content center and align items okay we uh, if you uh, we can avoid this uh, align items and uh, here we will be giving space between uh, yeah so uh, and list style should be none and now you can see that there is no space between these three things so to add some space we can select the h1 and the ul and we can define the flex as one so yeah it will be 
having now some equivalent spaces between each other so that's it for our stylings and uh, let me page up and uh, let's have here some basic styling like padding 0 margin 0 and let's give this a box uh, sizing what a box and let us add here a font family of 10 serif yeah now it's much better so that's it for our nav now uh, let us give some basic style to section also so let us select it and let us provide over here a position of relative uh, basically yeah, let's add a relative position or let's add a absolute position over here and then yeah top 50% left 50% and then we can have over here transform translate a uh, translate minus 50% comma minus 50% so this will help us to bring this section in the middle and the same thing we can do with the footer uh, but to wait uh, we will be having footer over here or uh, this will be footer p and uh, we will be giving footer as a position relative and this will be having a width of 100% and a min height of 5 vh now it's perfect okay it's not perfect till now so oh wait um uh, Let's add over here one fifty percent simply. Okay, it's not working right now. Hmm, I guess uh, there must be some error in our uh, min height. Let's increase the min height. Okay, so it will be ninety five rather than. It's not working still. Yeah, it's now over there. So let's add it a forty vh. Uh, so that's it for our uh, basic stylings. And now we will be giving them a color using uh, CSS variables. So uh, now uh, let me make you uh, aware that uh, there are two types of CSS variable. One is uh, we can say one is global and the other one is local. So the scope of global will be for the entire document in which you have declared the CSS variable. But yeah, the scope of a local variable will be just uh, uh, where it is defined. Like uh, on which selector you have defined the variable, its scope will be just for that selector. So first we will be seeing how to declare a global variable, and then we will be seeing how to declare a local variable. So to declare a global variable, you have to like write a colon, and then you have to write root as a keyword. And here, with the help of to dash, you can write the name of the variable. Like my first variable variable will be bg color. and this will be having a value of black a shade of black basically and yeah then you can have a semicolon and wow your variable has been declared now you can use it like in body you can simply choose the a property on which you have to use this value suppose i want to use this value for background color and then here you can have one keyword which is var and then in parentheses you have to write the name of the variable that you want to use for your this property so this background color will be having the value which will be stored in this variable 
so now let us save this and let us see so you can see that uh, we have successfully used our first css variable now uh, we can make one more va variable which will be text color and uh, here we can have a value of white which is hashtag fff and uh, then here you can simply choose the property on which you want to uh, use this value and with the help of var you can use the value so now save it and yeah you can see the effect of the second variable too now it's time to see what are the uh, what are the um, uh, local variables so local variables are defined in the selector on uh, on which you have to define the scope so if i want my local variable should have the scope of header i can simply define the header and uh, here uh, the same way with two dash and then the name of the variable which will be now background color let's say so this will be background color and this will be having a value of red uh, you can uh, simply have a sweeter red than that a uh, bright red so now you have seen that i have declared the variable in header selector so my scope will be just for the header and for the nav because nav is inside the header as uh, uh, let me have put two variables over here one and the two and this will be nav background one will be the simple background and let's select here and let's give this a value of green now let us save this and in nav let us add the background so i will be adding the background color using var and yeah i can simply use this nav background and the same way i can give the header the same background so this header will be having a background color as the property and the value which will be stored in background will be assigned to this property now let us save and let us see it so this nav was uh, from here to here and that's why it has a green color because we have declared the background color of nav as nav background and which was having a value of green and this one is having the red color because we have assigned the background color in header as background which has the value of red now if i want to use this uh, header um, variables in my body then i can't because if uh, i write over here nav background then we will be having a white color instead which is the predefined color instead of uh, uh, green color because our nav color is green so yeah let me just bring this back and yeah we are good to go so this was the uh, first use of uh, assigning variables and these are the two types of variables one is global and the other one is local now what is the advantages of using this variable so the first advantage is, is that you have your everything at one place uh, means every uh, colors every text sizes and every font which you are using in your document will be at one position and you can simply say that okay i have used this set of colors i have used this set of uh, font sizes for my website or web page and the second use is that uh, if uh, suppose in my root element i defined a text uh, color or let's just give this a uh, text name and let us uh, use a blue color over here uh, let me choose a lighter blue over here so suppose we have used this uh, blue color and uh, in my section if uh, i am using a color and this is having the text of that bluish color uh, let me copy this over here 
and let me uh, paste it in my footer also so we are having a section and footer of the same color but our nav is having a white color obviously because we have given the color in our uh, session and footer now i don't want to use this uh, purple color because it is not looking so nice over here and i want to change the color for both the things so if i will be uh, assigning the colors uh, one by one like here i will be writing the same color and then here i will be writing the same color then it's not so easy to update but uh, if i have used the css variable i can simply go over here and i can simply grab the color that i want to use now suppose i want to use a greenish color instead of a blue color let me save it and yeah both of the section get updated at one go so this was the second benefit of using css variables so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching and supporting code our creatives because uh, this month we crossed 50 plus on our channel and yeah it's the start of the journey so thank you all and thank you for being with code our creatives till then peace out guys